In this video, I'm going to show you a quick example of how Felix Bacigalupo used time frequency analysis to study attention when he was in my lab. This study was based on early EEG research showing that alpha band EEG oscillations are related to attention. In this classic study, the subject was looking at an object but initially not paying attention, and you can see alpha band oscillations. The experimenter then says, look, and the subject starts concentrating on the object. This causes the alpha to be suppressed. When the experimenter says, stop looking, the alpha comes back. And here we see a replication. So you get a suppression of alpha band activity when somebody's paying attention. More modern research has shown that if subjects are doing a task with a stimulus every couple seconds, you'll see alpha during the period between the stimuli. And then the alpha is briefly suppressed when the stimulus appears and the subject has to respond. It's as if the appearance of the stimulus causes the subject to start paying attention again. But once the stimulus is gone and the subject has responded, attention is no longer necessary. Felix took this general idea and put it into the context of an N2PC paradigm so that he could look at lateralization of the stimulus-elicited alpha suppression. At the beginning of each five-minute trial block, subjects were told to attend to a particular target color, like red. Each display contained several colored objects, and the locations of the different colors varied randomly from trial to trial. On each trial, subjects were asked to locate the target and press a button to indicate whether it had a gap on the top or the bottom. They did this while maintaining fixation on the center of the screen so we could look at covert shifts of attention. As usual, we saw an N2PC component in the conventional ERP analysis. The voltage was more negative contralateral to the target from approximately 200 to 300 milliseconds. When Felix did the time frequency analysis, transforming each single trial EEG epoch to the time frequency domain prior to averaging, he found alpha suppression following the targets. That's the big blue blob around 10 Hz from around 200 to 800 milliseconds. It lasts much longer than the N2PC. You can see this suppression over both the contralateral and ipsilateral hemispheres, but if you look closely, you'll see that the suppression is stronger over the hemisphere contralateral to the target. It's easier to see this in a contralateral minus ipsilateral difference plot. We've boosted up the scale on the difference plot, and you can clearly see a suppression at around 10 Hz that starts around 200 milliseconds after stimulus onset and continues at least until 800 milliseconds. And it was a relatively narrow band of frequencies, so it's probably a bona fide oscillation. By using time frequency analysis, Felix was able to see this contralateral suppression of alpha band activity that was invisible in the conventional ERP waveforms. We had done dozens of N2PC experiments over the years, and this contralateral alpha suppression was probably there in most of them, but we couldn't see it because it's invisible in a conventional average ERP.